Good afternoon, this is uh, Jody Clark and I'm um, watching my dad uh, put on new rubbers on the table tennis racket. Today's date is, what is today, um, March 27th, March 27th, okay, and table tennis is one of daddy's favorite sports that he has played and I've learned a lot through playing table tennis with him and I just want him to talk to us a little bit about table tennis. Um, what are you doing right now, Miss Daddy? <laughs> I don't want to say Mr. Clark. <laughs> I am putting on new rubbers on the racket. In table tennis, you change the rubbers on your racket so that it can play better each time. And the new process in the game is, it's called re-gluing. Mm -hmm. You change the rubber every so often because it is worn out. And you have to get the rubber, and you cut the rubber with a scissors, you cut it to the size of the racket, and then you clean the racket surface off. And when you finish cleaning it off, you use a rubber or a gun to put it back on. Mm -hmm. And then you are ready to play again. Okay. So that, that is good information. Um, do you have any, any recommendations about rackets or type of rubbers that we use? No, I use Friendship, which is a Chinese rubber. Mm -hmm. And that rubber is generally the cheapest rubber. So, but but what is the quality like? The quality is extremely good. The quality is not any more downgraded or less than a rubber that you would buy coming from Sweden or Japan or anywhere else. The quality is just as good. Mm -hmm. It's just the brand, and I am accustomed to using it because. The Chinese rubber deal mostly with control. <laughs> and control is what the type of game I play. I don't believe in a game that you, you are not in control. And with the Chinese rubber, they cater to a lot of control. So I specialize in the Chinese rubber, which is the French. Okay. Now, um, you and table tennis go back many many years right dad right right so why did you why why how did you become interested in playing it in jamaica my best friend used to love the game i didn't know the game and he used to play a lot he tell me about the game and i watched the game and i was very athletic mm -hmm. so any game i play i play it well Wow, that's real confidence right there. Yes, that is not a joke. Mm. Any game I play, I play football good, I play cricket good. All the games that I play, physical game, athletics wise, I'm pretty good. So, he wanted a partner to play with him. Okay. So I decided to start playing with him. And, as I said, I play sports good. <laughs> so, in a short while, I was playing far better than him. Mm -hmm. And a lot better than a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. So you even played competitions and won because you showed me articles in the Jamaica Gleaner. Yes, I yeah. tried to make the Jamaica team on several occasions. But there was a very high level of prejudicial behavior in management. Oh. And because of that, I think I did not make the team. I was a pretty good player. Mm -hmm. And even when I performed good, it didn't make much of a difference. Because the prejudicial aspect took precedence over me. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of players that I beat in trials and those persons went on to represent the country or represent the activity and I was not and I beat those players and there's no way those players should have been selected over me mm -hmm. 
but I was a pretty poor kid. And when you're poor, nobody's on your side. But, some, but some, sometimes, sometimes you might get that window of opportunity, I guess. But it might be very small. Right. Yeah. What I did to compensate for that was mm -hmm. all the players that I trained afterward made the Jamaica team. Wow. So how come they didn't take you on as like a coach? Um, because or at that time I was involved with other things at work. Oh. And I had gotten out a range and got now the gentleman who used to lead the prejudicial behavior within the Jamaica Activities and Association. Oh. And that man eventually was voted out. I made sure he was voted out. <laughs> yes, I got rid of him, no question. I did what was necessary to get rid of him because he was the one who blighted my prospect of making the Jamaica team. And I'm sure of others too. He did it with a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. He did a lot of damage to the game. He loved the game, but it was on a selfish level. Oh. Not on a level to promote people. It was a matter to promote himself. He was one of the, the country's um, top sports writer. So anything that didn't benefit him or he could get his hand in control of was he published. And that is how they used to operate. Mm -hmm. But they eventually got rid I eventually got rid of him. We voted him out, he was the general secretary. Mm -hmm. And we voted him out completely. And he had no more position until the day he died. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so so you were you were a, um, a rebel. <laughs> no. no, I was a reformer. You are a reformer. Yes, that's a better word. Thank you, Daddy. Yes, I was that's a reformer. A I arranged and did the best I could to improve the game. I love the game. I love the game. I love the game, and I will not stop playing the game until I, the day I die. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful game. It teaches you a lot about life. Mm -hmm. It teaches you about patience. It teaches you how to deal with people. And I couldn't love a game anymore. Mm. It's one of the best games you have on the face of the earth. Well, table tennis really teach me patience because when you were teaching me um, here in Miami when I came and spent the summers with you, um, I would get so frustrated at times that I couldn't return the ball and how I was holding the racket, but you took the time to show me. And it took a lot of patience, because I would get frustrated at times, you know? But in that respect, it did show me patience, because eventually I became better. I became a yeah, better player. Yeah, you became pretty good. Yeah. But you choose not to continue playing for Well, a I, hello, I am taking it back up again. Okay, beautiful. Taking it back up again. Um, because it, it is it is wonderful. It's, it's not something where I have to go and run track or anything like that. But it's a game of strategy and using your mind yes. to beat the other player. Yes, because your brain you have to use to win the next player. Right. And that is the key. So that part about it, strategizing and returning the ball and of course smashing the men. I love to beat up on men especially. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I like yeah. that too. I like to see when you beat up the men then. Yes. And they're more wide open. Exactly, because they're not chat too much and big up themselves and that's not what it's about. It's about um, your skill level playing the game, not about talking. Yeah, but men like to talk them way through it. So, And they have a way to thinking that a woman can never be as good as a man, which mm -hmm. is not true. And they think by continually talking through the game that that's going to throw me off. Oh no. That's not going to throw me off. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It looks like you're almost finished with that side. It's going to take a while to clean up, so. Mm. 
I want to do it the right way. When I'm doing stuff for Jody, it has to be done the right way. Yes, Dad. No question Dad. about that. Yes, Dad.